Uh, this afternoon, a motorcade escorted Investigator Sandberg's body from St. Cloud back to his hometown of Aiken. You just saw those very, very powerful images when that motorcade actually pulled up into town and the emotion on people's faces. Esme Murphy continues our team coverage now with more on what type of man Investigator Sandberg was. Uh, powerful images there this evening in Aiken, Esme. Very sad. Absolutely, Frank. There is such sadness here. A group of about 20 young high school girls walked by me a few minutes ago. Many of them were openly crying as they walked across the street to this vigil where hundreds have gathered. Everyone I talked to today said Stephen Sandberg is a man who devoted his entire life to this community. The Dale family brought flowers to the Aiken County Sheriff's Office, putting them just underneath a smiling picture of investigator Stephen Sandberg. Danae Dale can't believe the always smiling, friendly investigator is gone. Just to show our support for him and just to know that we're thinking about him and it's just kind of a small community. And Sheriff Scott Turner said Sandberg always handled the county's toughest cases, but that his greatest source of pride was his wife Christy and daughter Cassie. Probably more importantly than anything, is he was a very kind, um, committed, and involved parent. John Woodrow knew Sandberg for 40 years. Just a shock to everybody, and I think everybody in town feels the same way. Same way. Just don't expect it to happen. Woodrow, who announces Aiken High sports events, says Sandberg never missed one of his daughter's basketball games. Sandberg himself was a 1973 graduate of Aiken High School and was a standout three-sport athlete. Sandberg also served Aiken as a volunteer firefighter for 17 years. Everybody in town knew him, you know, and he, he liked everybody. It's, it's just a huge loss for the town. And the vigil behind me will continue for about another hour. We understand the sheriff will be speaking and immediate family members of Stephen Sandberg are expected to attend. Right, Esme, we'll have some continuing coverage uh, tonight at 10, live in Aitken. Thank you.